Oaklawn is proud to present the field for the 87th running of the Grade 1 Arkansas Derby. Leading the post parade is number one, Bourbon Bash, owned by BC Stables, LLC, trained by D. Wayne Lucas and ridden by Relu Gutierrez. Number two is Lucky Seven Stables Interlock Empire, trained by Kenneth McPeak, David Cabrera, the jockey. Three, Harlow Cap, is owned by Harlow Stables Corporation and Villarosa Farm Incorporated, trained by Steve Asmussen. Ricardo Santana, Jr., up. Four, Two Eagles River, races for Mach 1 Racing, and Scattered Acres LLC, Chris Hartman trains, and the jockey is Nick Juarez. Five is Airtime, owned by Randy Haug, trained by Robertino Diodoro. Christian Torres in the saddle. Number six is Angel of Empire, owned by Albaugh Family Stables, LLC, trained by Brad Cox, the jockey Flavian Pratt. Seven Rocket Can is in the colors of Frank Fletcher Racing Operations Incorporated, Bill Mott, the trainer, Junior Alvarado, in the irons. Eight, Reincarnate is owned by SF Racing LLC, Starlight Racing, Madiket Stables LLC, R.E. Masterson, Stone Street Stables LLC, et al. Tim Yachtin, the trainer, John Velasquez, up. Nine, King Russell is owned by Brereton C. Jones and Neighbor Racing LLC, Ron Moquette is the conditioner, Rafael Bejarano, the jockey. Completing the field, Red Route 1, number 10. Owned by Winchell Thoroughbreds LLC and trained by Steve Asmussen, Tyler Gaffleone in the irons. Five minutes to post for the Arkansas Derby. And they're off. A perfect start to the 87th Arkansas Derby. Toward the inside, Two Eagles River, as expected, heading toward the lead. Harlow Cap is with him on the inside in second. Airtime got out well in third. Reincarnate is fourth. Bourbon Bash on the inside, fifth. And Rocket Can sits outside in sixth. He's only about four lengths off the lead as they head to the back stretch. And then comes Angel of Empire. He's off the rail by one path. Interlock Empire, the bright gray, is inside of him. King Russell is next to last. In that late running red route one, blinkers on and all, is still trailing the field here. He's a good dozen or 13 lengths off the lead as they move up the backstretch. Two Eagles River and Nick Juarez set the pace in the Arkansas Derby and reincarnate as his companion right to the outside. Harlow Cap on the inside is racing in third and is just a neck to the good of airtime. Followed to the outside by Rocket Can. He's going to be four wide into that turn but he is in the clear and is only three lengths off the lead now. Bourbon Bash hugs the inside into that far turn. Angel of Empire is within range if he's good enough on the outside. And he is starting to move now. Angel of Empire is racing with Rocket Can toward the outside. And then comes King Russell and Interlock Empire. Dropping back and out of it is Bourbon Bash. Red Route 1 enters the stretch, 10th and last as they straighten away in the upper stretch. And Angel of Empire has ranged into the lead here. Two Eagles River drops back on the inside. Toward the outside, King Russell is running on. Reincarnate in the second flight with airtime. And Rocket Can, Angel of Empire, and Flavian Pratt. Angel of Empire wins the Arkansas Derby and wins it clear. King Russell was up for second. It was tight for third between Reincarnate and Rocket Can. Stepping into the winner's circle, the 2023 Arkansas Derby winner, Angel of Empire, ridden by Flavian Pratt. Angel of Empire gives the Brad Cox Stable its third stakes victory today out of the four contested and a victory in this race for the second year in a row after taking it last year with Cyberknife. Angel of Empire is a three-year-old colt by Classic Empire 
From the To Honor and Serve Mayor, Armini's Angel, Pennsylvania bread. Bread by Forgotten Land Investment Incorporated and Black Diamond. Owned by Albaugh Family Stables, LLC, of Dennis Albaugh and Jason Louch. The time, 1 minute 49.68 seconds. We congratulate the winning team behind Angel of Empire. Now a grade one and a grade two winner. Receiving the trophy in the winner's circle from Rochelle Sella. Angel of Empire gives trainer Brad Cox back-to-back -back runnings of the Arkansas Derby. A phenomenal day for the barn, Brad, but what were your overall thoughts about his performance today? Big run. He got a great trip. He was setting a nice trip up the backside, a nice quiet spot in between a uh, pack of horses. And, uh, you know, when Flavian asked him, you could tell he's starting to accelerate three. So I was like, wow, this horse, he looks like he's going to have a nice run down the lane. And we've always thought he's a horse, the longer the better. Uh, he's had two races now going a mile and an eighth. He's got a great foundation underneath of him. And hopefully it sets him up for a big, uh, big race in five weeks. So that's my next question. A huge day, very likely to be the favorite in the Kentucky Oaks with wet paint mm -hmm. after her performance here this afternoon. And Angel of Empire going into the Kentucky Derby. Is some of the pressure now off with those horses set, or is it just getting started? <laughs> it's off for maybe a couple of days. Well, <laughs> but once as, as you get closer, obviously the Kentucky Oaks and Derby, I'm sure the pressure will. You know, it'll pick back up, but, you know, very, very pleased with these horses and how they performed today. I want to thank my staff, the owners, um, and the horses. I mean, they showed up, they run, they've, you know, he's, this horse, you know, performed well down here the first of the year, took a show on the road to the fairgrounds. He hung out down there, prepared for this race and shipped in this week and performed very well. Well, certainly he was a home. He's a favorite here at Oakland, certainly to be the favorite from here on Kentucky Derby Day. Congratulations. Job well done. Go have a drink. Thanks, Nancy. I appreciate it. <laughs> well, Angel of Empire getting the wings here in today's Arkansas Derby.